Hello team, welcome back. And let's configure a Jenkins job to trigger by the poll source code management. So we will configure the job in a way so that it will pull the source code management and if it found any new commit, any change in the source code, then it will automatically trigger the Jenkins job. So this is the Jenkins job if you will go to the configuration and you go to the build triggers. Then we are getting an option poll SCM. There is a question mark which is a help feature if I will click this it is saying configure Jenkins to poll changes in the SCM if I will check this over here you are getting something which is called schedule you can put the schedule over here that in which particular schedule this job will poll your SCM there is a question mark for the help if you will pull the question mark then see over here you need to define a pattern like a cron job this will follow the syntax of the chrome First, we need to define the minute, then hour, then day of month, then month, then day of week. This is the same pattern which you follow in the crone. Over here, you are also getting some kind of help, some hint. If you will put asterisk, so there must be one, two, three, four, five entries. And asterisk means everything. So if I will put asterisk, space, asterisk, space, asterisk, asterisk, and asterisk, it means I am providing the five asterisk. Let's click at outside and you see at which particular interval this will pull your source code management. So if you are providing a syntax like this, then this will pull your source code every minute. It will basically pull your SCM every minute. So this is definitely not recommended for the production system because it will increase the load on your SCM. But for this job, let's suppose we are doing it every minute. I will save this. Once you will save this, you see you are getting a new item over here. Git polling logs. What are these git polling logs? Let's click on this. And it is saying polling has not run yet. It means this log will provide that whenever it has polled my source code. Let's wait for one minute and after the one minute, I will again refresh the same page. Let's again refresh your web page. And see we are getting few logs over here that last time this job executed at this particular time and the recommended git tool is none and this is the total time it took this is the source code repository which it is polling and latest revision is this already built in build 26 so basically it is also showing you that since the last change this commit which is the last change in the source code that is already built in the build 26 let's do one thing let's open the source code and I will make some changes in the source code. Go to the source code, go to the example, go to the test file, edit this test file. And what I will do, I will remove the test case which I added in few lecture back. Let's put some commit message over here like removing extra test case and commit this. The code commit is done. Now let's go to the job. And over here you see last build is 26. Let's refresh your web page. No new build got triggered. I will wait for one minute and I will show you the status of this job after the one minute. Let's go to the main job. And you see, we are getting the build number 27. It is basically scheduled. Right, build number 27 is basically scheduled. It is executing. I will open this build in a new tab. This build is completed. Now, let me show you the build number 26 as well and I will show you the difference. Build number 26 is basically started by the user. I manually executed the build number 26 so that you are getting the output like started by the user and the username. But once you will open the build number 27, see we are getting something new started by SCM change. No user triggered this particular build. No, this is automatically triggered by the source code management change. We are also getting a link if I will open this. You see, you are getting the polling log, the same log which is over here in the main job, git poll log, right? You are getting the this log. See, it is getting the new ID, new commit ID in the jobs polling log as well. I will open the 27, open over here. You are getting the same ID. So basically, this job is basically triggered by the poll SCM, right? As soon as I make the changes in my source code as per my job configuration in the poll SCM, this Jenkins is basically polling the source code, right? And as soon as it finds the new commit, it has started a new build. 
now you can wait up to infinite time until unless you are not making the change over there this will not trigger the new build if you will go to the git polling log see the poll is again done at 119 and we are getting a message latest remote head revision this and already built in build number 27 earlier if you will go to the build number 27 go to over here the result is different it is basically showing the revision is this and we are not getting any new build over here but this time we are getting already built by 27 right so this is a fresh poll so every time jenkins is polling your source code right and as soon as you will have the commit over there it will create a new build let's go and configure the job again so put a every minute poll is definitely not a good idea this will put a lot of load on your source code management server so what i will do instead of the every minute let's make it hourly so what i will do i will put a zero over here like this click at outside you see the status got changed and you see it is saying that this job will execute at one o'clock on april 30 and two o'clock on april 30 it means this job will basically pull my source code management once in a hour this job will pull the source code management every hour and as soon as it will get a new commit it will trigger a new build so this is the way how you can configure your job on the poll SCM and how the Jenkin will pull the source code management and trigger the new build as soon as it will get a new commit ID on the source code management. So that's all for the day. Thank you team. See you next time.